It wouldn't be 2021 without something. Good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. 2021. Please stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. I would like to introduce our senior class president, Ms. Nicole Gearhart.
graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. As a whole, we have spent countless hours in the classroom studying and doing homework to make this exciting milestone in our lives. When we walked through those elementary doors or hopped on that big yellow bus, we had a mere 2,340 days to go. That's crazy to think about. I can vaguely remember the carefree days in kindergarten, coloring and learning how to add, and then what seemed like a blink of an eye, I was studying for AP exams and deciding what college I will attend. My most frequent thoughts through middle school were, I can't wait to drive, can't wait to graduate, and can't wait to be like those big kids. We are those big kids. We finally pushed through 13 years of school to be standing or sitting here with our caps and gowns on and soon to be diplomas in hand. Let's all just take a minute to reminisce on these amazing memories, strengthening tribulations, and unforgettable friends we made at Fergus Town High School. We've had an extremely different year, as some may say, but I'm sure everyone agree we made the most out of it. Each of us will take a path that we've paved through our many experiences as we learned and grew. Our path may be windy and rugged at times, but we were a class that was meant to persevere. Thank you, Nicole. Tonight is a special night for the class of 2021. Over the past year and a half, these young men and women have overcome so many obstacles in every aspect of their lives. They have shown commitment, resilience, and an unwavering desire that is truly unique for young adults. Thank you to the family and friends of the class of 2021 for your commitment, hard work, and support that you have given these young men and women throughout their lives. Your guidance has helped shape these graduates in so many ways. Without all of your efforts, tonight would, be, would not be possible. Thank you again. I will remember the class of 2021 for their many academic and extracurricular achievements they have accomplished. They have truly represented Burgettstown with excellence pride and success. The growth that I have witnessed since you entered the middle school is incredible and all of you will soon have the distinction of being graduates of the class of 2021. It has been an honor to watch your growth and hopefully play a small part in your life's journey. I'm excited for your future because the potential for greatness is unlimited. I see hardworking students who can shape the world in so many different ways. On this field, there will be hardworking laborers, soldiers, doctors, lawyers, teachers, and maybe a principal. Graduates, these are just a few of the possibilities that exist. Have the courage to take the path that you have chosen. You have learned over the last year that is likely there will be obstacles that could take you off that path but how you respond to these obstacles is the part that will set you apart from everyone else and make you a successful person. Successful people can be defined in many ways. I think Lou Holtz defines what a successful person is with a very simple quote. Do right, do your best, and treat others how you want to be treated. I believe if you follow these guidelines, you will be successful in so many ways. Class of 2021, you have made everyone proud in so many ways. I wish you the best of luck in every aspect of life and am excited to see what the Holcher holds in front of you. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our class valedictorian, Mr. Turner Lehman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is my honor to welcome friends, family, staff, faculty, administration, and the graduating class of 2021 to this long-awaited night. Friends, tonight we close one chapter of our lives and we chart our paths into the unknown, ready to embark on our journey and follow the wind. 
Tonight marks the end of our time together in the classroom, on the field, and as students of Burgesstown High School. Tonight, we celebrate perseverance through the unknown, through 13 years of school, and through many changes in our lives. As the sun sets on our past, a new future dawns on the horizon. After tonight, tomorrow begins. Tomorrow, we will enter the world with a fresh start, ready to make a difference. Tomorrow, our success will know no bounds. Graduation, like life, is full of traditions. Of these traditions, is presenting the graduating class with a quote that reflects upon their high school years. Tonight, I present a quote by Jimmy Dean. I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. We cannot alter what has been, but we can command what will be. We have successfully navigated obstacles over the past year, and we refuse to let these determine our course. Tonight, our paths diverge, each individual following their own. Some will go off to school, others to work, and some will serve our country. And many may still be on the path to discovering what comes next. Graduation is not about having a plan. Graduation is about celebrating 13 years of planning that have come to an end. But here's what I know. My fellow graduates tonight, no matter the paths they take, are bound to change the world. My peers bring into the world a better standard. Standards that will spark change and promote prosperity in our community. The class of 2021 saw many great accomplishments. The football team won two conference titles. We saw the first girls basketball section champion since 1998. The wrestling team won three section titles, made the Whippeal finals twice, and the first team in Bergstown history to make the PIAA team tournament. The class of 2021 is also home to our first Whippeal champion in track and field and state medalist, as well as a state medalist in wrestling. However, we are not only successful on the field, court, mat, and track, but in the classroom as well. Our mock trial team qualified for states for the first time ever. The participants in the Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Science continued the tradition of success. The Western Area students are all graduating with certifications in their respective shops. And our creativity is second to none with award-winning essays and art. The success of the Class of 2021 awards and accolades are only a glimpse into the, into the success that is yet to come. Through our teachers and administrators' education and leadership, we have gained the knowledge we need to be successful in life, leading lives of happiness and pride. Our community, which has brought forth encouragement and guidance on our collective paths, now provides us with opportunities for our individual paths. Their continual support through this trying and unpredictable pandemic has been nothing short of extraordinary. When the class of 2021 walked into the building back in 2008, we walked into, into a tradition of hard work, determination, and kindness. Today, we pass the torch to you, to the underclassmen, to the teachers, to the administration, and to all community members to pick up and continue this legacy. This graduating class has been, never been one to turn down a challenge. From this quality of perseverance, we have trudged through difficult times. We were the first class to start the use of Chromebooks, leading the way for a new way of teaching and learning. Skip ahead to 2020, two weeks turned into 15 months of adaptive learning, throwing everyone for a loop. Yet we pushed on, separated but not apart, and traversed these obstacles together. Take a moment, look to your left, look to your right. Tonight, we part ways. Tonight is the last time we are the collective class of 2021. We have endured many storms, but nothing has ever proved too much. Hold your head high and take the helm. 
As I stand here and look upon my fellow graduates, I leave you with one final message. We were born to make waves. Thank you, Turner. At this time, I'd like to introduce our class co-salutatorian, Ms. Kaylee Karras. Good evening, friends, family, teachers, and administrators. I've never personally watched a graduation ceremony before, but I've heard they're long, so I tried my best to keep my speech short and sweet. Today is most certainly a bittersweet day for all of us. Although this is not the ending any of us would have anticipated, we made it, and we're here to celebrate all of our hard work and accomplishments. As I like to do whenever I encounter a challenging situation, I like to consider the positive. Although we cannot change our learning environment and atmosphere, we can adapt to the changing circumstances to better ourselves as learners. As I sat down to write my speech, I reflected on the past four years we've spent at Ferguson High School and pondered about all of the ups and downs we have encountered. From firsthand experience, it has not been easy, let me tell you. Everything started out normally, and then as our schooling got more difficult, so did our learning environment. We went into lockdown last March, and thought that it was just going to be a two week spring break, but little did we know that that two week spring break would turn into a year and a half disaster. This, should I say, unique learning environment can be summed up by the Jimmy Dean quote, I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. Although we couldn't change the situation that we were abruptly thrown into, we could change how we learned and adapt our study habits, which is exactly what we did. The situation that we encountered is and was far from ideal, but I believe that we all learned a very valuable lesson from this past year. Life is far from easy. We're going to encounter many obstacles along the way, but as long as we have the drive and determination to do well, we can do whatever we put our mind to. These past four years may not have been easy on many of us, but we learned and grew from our experiences. We're stronger, encouraged, and braver than before, and with these skills, we can make an impact in our world for the better. High school is hard, I'll admit. We must meet numerous expectations that are often hard to meet, but all that matters is that we're standing here today together as the class of 2021. I like to think of high school as the free trial of life. We have four years to learn, grow, and experience the real world without any real responsibilities, but now our trial is over. We get to use our education to go out into the real world as young adults. We get to be the change we want to see in the world, and most importantly, we get to be us. We get to live life the way we always wanted to have and be the person we strive to become. I wish everyone here the best of luck in all of their future endeavors. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Thank you, Kaylee. At this time, I'd like to introduce our other co-salutatorian, Ms. Emily Lemon. Good evening. On the class of 2021, thank you for being here to share this milestone evening with us. It is my absolute pleasure and honor to be representing this extraordinary group of students. Jimmy Dean once said, I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. What a ride these past 13 years of school have been. So many memories we've made together as a class and I will cherish them all. Over the years, we've learned so much more than just math, science, history, English, or the arts. We've grown and learned to be the young adults we are today. We owe so many people in our lives so much for being a part of our journey. 
I remember when I was just getting ready to start Burgestown as a kindergartner. I was so excited. I was eager to finally get to ride the school bus. I was thrilled to pack my Sleeping Beauty lunchbox. And of course, I was excited to carry my really awesome Littlest Pet Shop backpack that was basically bigger than I was. I was also very nervous. Would I be able to find my classroom? Would a, who would be my friend? Would my teachers be nice? We soon found out that we would make many special friends and memories along the way. We found our classrooms, we played with our friends on the playground, and yes, of course, our teachers were nice. They took us by the hand and they showed us how to adjust our sails. Remember when we were about to enter sixth grade? The middle high school was a whole new world. We were so excited. We got to ride the bus with the big kids now. We finally got to eat those cool high school lunches and those really awesome cheese sticks. And we had grown into our backpacks just a little bit more. We were still very nervous too. Would we be able to find all our classes? Would we know how to buy our lunches? Would we be able to figure out those pesky locker combinations? Would our teachers be nice? As it turned out, we figured out how to get through all of our classes and those locker combinations weren't nearly as difficult as we expected. We grew into those book bags that were once bigger than we were. And yes, our teachers were nice. They let go of our hands and guided us through the winds of change and allowing us to learn to adjust our sails, or adjust our sails for ourselves. And here we are today as high school seniors on our graduation day, the day we've always talked about but never really thought would come. We've made so many memories together. We've learned so many things. And we've been faced with challenges and adversities along the way. Life doesn't always pan out uh, the way we plan. Through it all, we've been guided by very many special people. I cannot thank enough our parents, families, teachers, coaches, counselors, faculty, administration, staff, and the community who has had a special role in our journey. Thank you for helping us to become the people we are and the people we want to become tomorrow. So class of 2021, it's time to set sail for, to our next destination. Once again, we're feeling very excited, yet still a little nervous at the same time. But this time, we know how to adjust our sails all on our own. Take all that you've learned and all our special memories. Be the very best you can be. Always be yourself and remember where you came from. Wherever you go, whatever you do, and whoever you choose to become, always be kind. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Would the class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> Mrs. Lonick Snatchko, I present to you the class of 2021. I am proud to inform you that they have met the requirements for graduation. On behalf of the Board of Education, I accept the class of 2021 for graduation and at this time do hereby declare them graduated. Graduates, please be seated. Graduates. 
graduates in row one, please rise. Turner J. Lehman. Graduates in row one, you may be seated. Graduates in row two, please rise. Connor Chase. Dylan 
Tiana, Sophia McConaughey. <laughs> Elizabeth Nicole Maya Dusty.
in row four, you may be seated. Sorry. We would also like to recognize the members of the class of 2021 who were unable to attend tonight. Jordan Almond, Stacia Collins, Dylan Durbin, Samantha Morose, and Peyton Claro. Class of 2021, please rise. <laughs> Members of the audience, please rise as well. And gentlemen, please remove your caps as senior class treasurer, Miss Abby B. Hunt, leads us in the alma mater. The words are located on the back of each diploma and program. Thank you, Abby. Please be seated. 
At this time, I would like to introduce Miss Lily Posty. Thank you, Mr. Fadden. Good evening, loved ones and the friends of Class of 2021. It is such a pleasure to share in the intensity of emotions filling this stadium as you who are graduating close this chapter of your life story. Before we end tonight's ceremonies, I would like to say thank you to the faculty and staff, members of the Brigadstown community, parents, and most importantly, my 2021 classmates. I remember coming to Brigadstown as a new student in the sixth grade, hoping I would make one good friend. And now as I graduate, I can confidently, confidently tell you that when I look out into this group of students, I now have 74 really good friends. The great thing about the Brigadstown community is that everyone knows everyone. You tell one person you're sick and soon enough, Everyone is asking if you're feeling better. Sometimes we overlook small towns, but situations like this make you pause for a second and remember how much you love it. Someday you'll be homesick for Burgettstown, and I hope you come back, cherishing it this time. Small towns shape you to be humble, charitable, non-judgmental. I hope you carry those specific traits with you throughout your life as they are not easy to come by. People like you, are not easy to come by. This year was unyielding, but people like us are unbreakable. People like you are resistant and everlasting. Remember that when you feel like falling apart. Our last year of high school was during a time in history when our world was dealing with enormous challenges, but at a time when the opportunities created by these challenges have never been greater. And tonight, I stand before 74 powerful, world-changing and inspiring individuals. The kind of individuals I hope to see and catch up with in 30 years, telling me they're a doctor now, a CEO of a company, or just simply living their best lives. This year was hard on everyone. Whether, as, whether it was because of COVID or not, we all struggled. But if there's one thing I know that is upstanding in my generation, it's that we can come together with open arms and provide healing for each other's wounds. And today we get to celebrate the healing of those open wounds, our triumphs, even our weakest moments, and above all, making it through one of the hardest years of our lives. Uh, tonight we celebrate us, the class of 2021, but honestly, I think everyone deserves a round of applause. Many people say that today is the day we start our journey, but I disagree. The journey began a long time ago, time ago today just happens to be the day where the path we have been traveling traveling on splits into 75 unique roads up until now we have been a team walking as one we have done it all and we have done it together and tonight you are poised to start a new chapter of your life story whatever direction you take i guarantee that your world will change as you leave high school and as a result of whatever you choose to do our world will change as a result of your contributions contributions that will be determined by how you follow your dreams and imagination. While we celebrate your past academic accomplishments and activities tonight, I want to challenge you to continue your quest for knowledge and to discover your own unique ways to contribute to our, our society. The class of 2020, 2021, 2021, <laughs> we're part of a global generation for which professional opportunities, travel, and exploration may take you to the furthest reaches of this earth and beyond. In school, it was never about how good you looked or if you fit in. It is about the legacy you leave behind once you graduate. I felt the joy as I watched you prepare for tonight's ceremony. I saw you straighten each other's caps and gowns. I saw the hugging, the fist bumps. I saw the friendship and the caring. I saw your unbridled enthusiasm for what you have accomplished. And so I want to challenge you to take that enthusiasm and carry it with you and use it to obtain your goals. 
As you go forward, don't forget the friends you have made and those that you will make along the way. Don't forget the small town of closeness, the comfort, and its people. And wherever the next chapters in, in your life may take you, make sure the journey includes joy and love. Today is an especially good day to love because you have made it. But every day is a good day to love because you've made it. I hope the class of 2021 finds good things in doing good things. I hope you all find the strength and power to rise above your heartaches, your obstacles, and your trying times. I'm not the kind of person to say goodbyes because it hurts my heart. So instead I will say hello. Hello to the adult you, hello to the person you will become after high school, and hello to the graduated you. Godspeed, class of 2021. I love you guys. Thank you, Lily. Would the class of 2021 please rise? Get it, Hannah! Please, everyone join us in another round of applause for the class of 2021. Thank you everyone for attending tonight. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021.